so hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel you are very welcome please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so without further ado let's get into today's video As you can tell this video will be all about wig making sometimes I get a lot of, a lot of questions um, about my wigs that I make like I get so many questions and sometimes it's hard for me to reply to each and everything in the comment section or through emails or whatever the case so I think this video would be really good because it will be able to help you if you always wanted to make a wig if it's your first time making a wig or even if you already know how to make wigs maybe I know something that you don't already know so everything that I know about wigs is through my own knowledge I've never been taught anything I've always been the kind of person that's been playing around with hair from I was a little girl so I kind of just pick things up naturally just by looking at it or pick a few pick things up by through YouTube or I just decided to, to try things that's just how I got into this whole thing that's just my personal experience but a lot of people are into wigs at the moment because wigs are trending and sometimes people want to try and make their own because it's not always appropriate to go and buy a wig so this is what I'm gonna do for you today I'm gonna literally take it all the way back to the beginning and as I said this video will be for the complete beginner so I'm not going to include everything in this video, I'm just going to show all the basic stuff and then depending on how this video goes, I will probably make it into a series. So first and foremost, the first thing that you're going to need is wig heads or mannequin heads. Now people always ask me, you know, what do you make your wig on? What do you use to make your wig on? You can make your wig on your head now i'm assuming if you're learning that won't be easy for you so you could just use like um, um a mannequin head now a lot of people use this mannequin head i don't like personally i don't like it and i would not use it or i would not rec recommend you using it because one this head is smaller than the average size head i mean if you've got a small head you probably can but I personally use this for displaying wigs so I don't really use this to make my wig on it so this is a foam head and this one is a 10 inch it has the size written at the bottom right there and a lot of people tend to use these and you can get a stand that you put inside of the um, the hole and then you attach it to your table or your desk or whatever it is that's to keep it that's to um, basically hold it firm and then you can go ahead and put your wig cap on the head and start making your wig a canvas head is like really good to make wigs on as well um, I'll probably do that in a later video because as I said I'm trying to do this for the complete beginners and to begin with I think this is the simplest the easiest way and the easiest thing that you need to use to make your wigs so these are pretty cheap I got this for like $2.99 and it's in my local beauty supply store you can get this online you can get this and um, on eBay Amazon and I'm sure there are other places that you can get this for um, you just have to also check the sizes but yeah this is pretty simple this is the first thing that you're gonna need so guys once you've decided on your mannequin head um, you're gonna need the next thing that you're gonna need is your wig cap now there are so many different wig caps different styles different sizes different colors different brands there's a wide range of wig caps so I have a few here these are the, these are the ones that I found in my house and I'm just going to talk to you about the ones that I do have access to just now. Um, this one here is very, very, very popular. This I'm just going to open this and show it to you. So this comes in like different brand. This is just a particular brand that I have right now. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So 
so once I've opened the packet this is what it looks like and it is pretty it's like a mesh but it's like a firm solid kind of mesh and then it has a band around it a thick band it's not very deep inside but it's 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 a lot it's like it's more firm if I can say that or solid and it stretches okay it stretches also as you can see right here so a lot of people tend to go for this you can use this when you're sewing on a wig or gluing it or using a hot glue gun you can use this wig cap so this is the mesh dome cap and they also have this the same dome cap which is not in a mesh form it's it's like a lycra material so it's it's the same style but it's just stretchy and it's not a mesh material if that's if that makes sense i haven't got one to hand so yeah so that's that one and then this one i'm just gonna show you this one this one is the original old school wig cap that these are basically stocking caps that has been going around for years everybody know what a stacking cap is i'm sure and if you don't then you should know so this is what it looks like it's a basic stocking cap and this is really good for uh, to be honest with you like i really do like these um it's so good because if you want to make a wig a lot of people don't like the thicker one because some people like like a more light feeling on on their head so a lot of people tend to go for this so they can still get air and breeze and stuff in their head so yeah this is the normal um stocking cap and these are pretty cheap oh yeah this one that i was showing you before the dome cap i got that for like one pound 99 so two pounds and then this one how much is this i don't know but this there's not a price on it but i'm i'm assuming this will be like a pound something or just over a pound so that's and usually you'll get like two of them inside of the pack so you can use one and then save another one for later and so with the stocking caps that i just show you they're like different colors so this is just the same thing exact same thing but it's just a brown one and this one is a weaving cap this is what it looks like and this the cost of this was two pounds 1.99 so I'm just gonna open this up and show you what it looks like so this is what the weaving cap look like now with the weaving cap it has like these two bands on the side of it there and there and then what you could do you can pull them pull it you could just pull them to make the wig tighter or to make the wig looser um it also stretches this one stretches and you can use this to sew your wig on and yeah a lot of people love this one as well now the next one what is this one okay so i this one is a u-port a u-part wig cap okay i don't really use this one much but i'm going to show you what it's like anyway it's very similar to the one that i just showed you the weave cap but the difference is this one has like a u-shape and then basically what you're supposed to do is make a u-part wig and then obviously when you're finished you cut this area and then you have the straps there that will make the wig um, tighter or looser depending on your comfort and yeah that's that one this one costs three pounds 2.99 this one costs 2.99 so this one's a little bit more expensive but i think it's because of the style it has some lace it i mean yeah the quality is quite decent so that's why so I mean again I have stocking caps in different brands and another thing I wanted to say to you guys because sometimes I get questions in my comment section um, asking how do I know that the wig cap that the wig caps will fit me or 
for example, how do I say? This wig cap right here is saying that it's breathable and comfortable material. Comfortable elastic bands, full size for the perfect fit. Keeps your hair in place, okay? Now, sometimes, as you can see, look at this wig cap, right? Let me get the other one out. Okay, this is the first one that I show you, the first stocking cap, and this is the, another one. Now, as you can see, putting them next to each other, one of them, this one on my right, is a lot. I mean, not a lot, but it, it's a bit longer than this one. So, what that means is, this allows you more room for a bigger head, okay? You can always find um, a wig cap for your head shape because a lot of the time I have questions from people saying that they can't find a wig cap to fit their heads. Now, as I was saying to you before, these are just a few styles of wig caps, but there are so many, like there's so many other ones that you can find to fit your heads. So, so basically that's all the wig caps that I have to hand at the moment. So hopefully you get the idea of, you know, what kind of wig caps you need or what kind of wig caps you're going to go for. So first you're going to need your foam head and then you choose your wig cap. So guys, after you've chosen um, your wig cap, the next thing that you're going to decide is, are you going to sew the wig on? Are you going to use, are you going to glue it on? Those are the only two options that you have. So you can basically decide if you want to use your um, needle and thread or you could just get a glue from your local beauty supply store and I do or you can use a glue gun but I do advise you to use um, the bonding glue if you're a beginner because the glue gun takes, um, takes a bit it takes a bit of time to get used to so I'll probably talk about that at a later stage in another video. So. You can get this at your, everything that I've basically showed you guys, you can get at your beauty supply store or online. So guys, once you've gathered everything that you need to make your wig, you need your foam head, you need your wig cap, you, you're gonna decide if you wanna use a bonding glue or you're gonna sew it. Once you've literally made a decision and you've gathered everything, you're gonna need to prepare your mannequin head to start making your wig. Now, I'm using the stocking cap, and also, when you prepare, when you put your stocking cap on your foam head, you're gonna need some pins. Now, these pins that I'm showing you right here, they're called T-pins. I'm hoping you can see them. They're called T-pins. Um, these are really good, or you could use these ones right here. They're just these basic little pins with a ball at the end of it, and then you could just stick it. Personally, I like these better. So after you've prepared your wig cap on your foam head, you're always you're gonna need pins, okay? You're gonna need pins to hold it down, and this is so that it doesn't slide up whenever you're working with it. So you're always gonna need to pin it down at the sides. I usually put a pin here, pin here, pin here, and two pins at the back. So I think that's pretty much it for this video guys and um, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment bar and I'll try my best to answer each and every one of you. So thank you guys for watching. Love you all. Bye.